guys welcome to yet another amazing episode here at kaluhi's kitchen i'm so excited about this recipe and if you have been following me on instagram you will recall that i made this hot dog recipe around september october my sister demanded literally demanded that i make something delicious for her and her boyfriend as they watch their movies and i was like i'm quite tired it's saturday i want to chill but i want to make something Pretty but delicious so I decided to make this particular loaded hot dog recipe I didn't think that you guys would really enjoy it but I posted it on Instagram stories because I just felt like posting it and you guys went crazy about this recipe and I was so stoked that you enjoyed it I made it on Instagram stories but today let's make a documented one with exact recipe quantity so that you guys can enjoy it time and time again buckle up get ready for the sauciest the sexiest the booziest the baconest loaded hot dog recipe you will ever encounter let's get started We're now done with majority of the prep and the first thing I did was to prepare the frankfurters which are set aside for much later. Second, I made sure that I have seared my bacon and that is the most important step actually because after searing the bacon, the fat renders and that bacon fat that will render out of our cooked bacon is what we will then use to sear our onions. That will ensure synergy between the flavors of the onion and the bacon that we will use as part of the garnish and as part of our loaded bacon. Ah, our loaded hot dog, sorry. <laughs> now, in my pan, we have our rendered bacon fat. I added some salt and some pepper and first in we are going to go in with our white onion and some garlic. You can use, actually no, let me not say that. Make sure you use white onion because red onion in as much as they are common in this country and in as much as they are still onion, in comparison to white onion, they are a bit more assertive and a lot more pungent and they are not quite suited for uh, caramelizing and as part of a loaded uh, hot dog. So make sure you go and get white onions, they are equally as cheap, equally as easily available. So that said, to a kitchen motto, and then we add our onions. The aroma of garlic and onions, woo! One of the best in the whole world. And I will not stop saying that until the day I die. <laughs> the onions may look like much, but actually when you cook them and as they caramelize, they really shrink down and become quite compact. The same with spinach, like Ukipika forest, it shrinks down to something so small. Same thing applies to onions. So don't be shy, just start with a big bunch because it will always, without fail, shrink down. Now that this is going, we're just going to add the second ingredient and that is my honey. Perfect. And then for some heat, some chili. Excellent. The chili I use is the one by Mdalasini Delicious. It's very, very, very hot. The one I've been using last year is the hottest dynamite. That's done because everyone in the house really enjoys it. Now we're on to the medium one, which is, I don't know the name is. The medium one is called Jelignite. It's, I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but according to me, the medium one is actually much hotter than the hottest one. But I'm going to link down her contacts below. Try both and then tell me which one you personally prefer. It's the best chili. However, if you cannot get your hands on that exact chili paste, any chili kabisa will work for this recipe. Hiya, tunendela bizuri sana. And now we're going to go in with the other ingredients that will take this from to, oh my God, yes, baby. <laughs> and that is some whiskey. 
in my bowl i have about three tablespoons of whiskey and i love using whiskey for this recipe because not only will it complement the meatiness of the bacon and the frankfurter it will also really develop the flavor of the caramelized onions and really complement the flavor notes of the honey and the chili remember i always say this and i always say this and i'm going to repeat it again today when we use an alcoholic beverage for cooking we do not use it so that we can get drunk and anyway it's very impossible to get drunk on two tablespoons of whiskey or vodka or whatever we cook with an alcoholic beverage we eat wine or cream liqueur or whiskey as it is in this case to derive the flavor notes of that beverage alcohol has a low boiling point either way so it will evaporate leaving behind the flavor notes we are after we don't cook with alcohol to get drunk we cook with alcohol to get a deeper more complex flavor that that exact beverage has so for this recipe we're going for the woody notes we're going for the smokiness we're going for every every other flavor note that whiskey has <laughs> so that this is actually the best loaded burger recipe you're ever going to encounter and i know some of you are going to ask i but i want to make this for my kids can i remove the whiskey let me just tell you this recipe is not for kids if you remove the whiskey you'll be making something entirely different if you remove the chili something entirely different the chili and the whiskey have to be there because this recipe is so particular to those main ingredients so I'm sorry Baba Jaden, I'm sorry Mama Liam, this recipe is not for your kiddies but you can go to the blog and choose any other recipe. This is for the big people, Nastia. <laughs> that said, let's add our whiskey. The caramelization process will take quite a bit of time. When I say a bit of time, I'm not meaning three hours, it will take about 15 to 20 minutes. It will not take three minutes it will not take five minutes it will take 15 to 20 minutes for the flavors to come together and for the onions to caramelize and also for the alcohol to burn off you really need the flavors to come together and the onions to caramelize so that everything is perfect nice and luxurious in your mouth do not i repeat do not rush this process also remember as the onions are caramelizing you're more than free and much welcome to give this a taste test to ascertain if the balance between the sweet and the hot is indeed perfect if you need more honey because your chili is a bit too assertive add some at this point if you need a bit more kick of the chili add some at this point make sure you always taste as you cook so that once you're done everything has nice perfect balance now we're going to let this stay on the heat for about 15 to 20 minutes turning it from time to time and then we'll be back here once they're done we are now very much done with the caramelization process and i really really love the rich dark deep brown color they become we started with a full mountain of onions but now they've shrunk and really come down to the nice caramelized onions that we require for our beautiful loaded hot dogs and now that we are done we're just going to switch this off transfer to our bowl let this cool for a few minutes and then we are going to proceed to assembling <laughs> Okay guys, we are now done with the prepping and now we are going into the easy part and that is the assembling. As you can see, we have our frankfurters over here. I prepped them before starting filming, so that's done. We have our nice soft buns. We have our caramelized onions over here. And we also have our bacon, which was the first thing we, we, we seared in our pan before adding the onions. And for the sake of aesthetic appeal and also assembling, I've chopped mine really, really Really small so that I can garnish them over our hot dogs because they will not only contribute to the aesthetic appeal of our loaded hot dog but also really add a lot of nice full flavored bacon -y flavor <laughs> I know that's not a word but here at Caribou's Kitchen we're going to say bacon -y. <laughs> next we also have some chives 
but you can use denier in place of them but i like how chives look and because these are onion chives the flavor of the chives will complement that of the caramelized onions we always use ingredients that have nice synergy and nice flow now that we have everything here we're not going to proceed to assemble we'll also add a bit of ketchup and and mustard carbon semi mayonnaise we're going to add a bit of ketchup and mustard just to bring everything together that's it guys let's proceed assemble and then see you on the other side Guys, kama kawaida, we are done with yet another beautiful and I know delicious recipe here at Kalohi's Kitchen. Mimi, I can't wait to go right in. I know this is about to be kind of messy, but we are not afraid of messy here at Kalohi's Kitchen. If it spills in your eyes, let it. If it spills on your top, let it. Boro me enjoy, bora ni tamu, the rest doesn't really matter. Let's give this a taste test. Woo! Mm. Guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I wanted to have when I was preparing this hot dog recipe once again today. You can taste the meatiness of the frankfurter together with that of the bacon. You can appreciate the freshness of the onion chives. You can taste the mild booziness of the whiskey. Appreciate the contrast between the sweetness of the honey and the heat of the chili. This is one... Naishiwa <laughs> and this is one recipe that you're going to make time and time again. Don't forget Kamakawida, the exact recipe quantities are on my blog, link on the description box. Try this out, make this for your brunches with your friends, or you're going for a road trip during Naivasha, or for a hike at Ngong Hill, or for a picnic at Karura. This will be the highlight of the time together with your friends. For those of you who tried this out last year, try this out again today again. Snap a pic, tag me on any social media platform. I would love to show you off. For me, it's now time to go and eat like the gluttonous fool I am. <laughs> and for you, do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.